Okay, this how-to video is going to show you how to use the differential pair tolerance rule um, that's inside the Cadence PCB tools. So predominantly when you're routing a differential pair, um, you want to make sure that both halves of the differential pair are, are equal in length or as close to equal in length, um, maybe with a, a, a tolerance value. And just by nature of the way that you route sometimes, and if you look at this example here, um, I'm probably going to have some differences in, in length between these two differential pairs because of the way I turn a corner the smaller one, uh, shorter on the inside, it's longer on the outside, and that's kind of working all the way down. Um, so to look at the lens, what we can do is we can hover over the, the C-line segment, we can then get the connect line, we then get the full net, so you can see that this is 26.4, this one here is 25.9, so I've got some difference, about 3.6 millimeters roughly, in length, um, probably a little bit too much for my liking, so I want to add a, a rule to this, and then uh, maybe correct that any DRCs that are shown. So we'll start off with Constraint Manager, set up constraints, we'll go to the electrical uh, workbook and then in the net side differential pair, there's my differential pair DP, I'm just going to go and specify a, um, a static phase tolerance, maybe a 0.127 of a millimetre. So you can see I'm getting some DRC straight away, there's the difference, um, so I need to add some length here. So um, I get a DRC error, showing on the longest member so I'd need to add length to this half and I've got several ways to do this so I can do it manually by just using the the root connect command let's go to 90 degrees um, we'll start routing just make sure I'm in single trace mode from a from a right click um, I can then go and root in a bump once I'm happy with that if I then use the slide command um, I see this stipple pattern this is obviously a, a visual indication of, of whether I'm meeting the constraint or not if I go too long, it's there. Too short, I'm not getting it. So in this mode here, I'm actually I'm meeting the constraint. I'm good to go. So I can click and confirm, and that will be one option. Uh, let's just slide that back in all the way down. The second option would be um, using the delay tune command. So root delay tune. Um, I've got the different styles of accordion, tr trombone, and sawtooth. Click on the connection again, um, and in this scenario, I'm going to go to right click single trace mode. Once I'm happy with that, let's just get the the, visit, the 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 bump coming out and again I've got the stipple pattern again going down the middle or I can also use the heads up display in the bottom right hand corner that's changing from kind of red to green when I'm meeting the constraint um, once I meet the constraint I click to confirm. The final option would be to use the root and the phase tune commands this is probably the quickest method um, so I can specify the size of a bump that I want to add and this can be either a line or an arc so I specify the length and the height, and this gives me a, the, the, the length added per bump. Um, once I'm happy with that, I then click and add the bump. If I can confirm that, my DRC error has gone away. Just to confirm that, we'll go back to Constraint Manager, and you can see effectively it's gone green on both halves. We can just analyze this just to confirm that, and both the values are green, we're good to go, um, and we're meeting the constraint.